There's been a lot of hurricanes that tested this, and especially Hurricane Sandy in 2012 when it came ashore in New Jersey. That was equated to a category one, and it gets a little more complicated. It was completing its extratropical transition when it was coming ashore in the New Jersey area. But still with wind speeds alone, category one, but just if we can recall all of the damage that we saw, the immense flooding that occurred in New York, in New Jersey, all across the New England area, that was equated to a category one, at that point, I already established to myself that the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale was not going to be justifiable in the long run. There needed to be more components. Just having wind is not an accurate measure of a hurricane. So I decided then for my PhD at the University of Toronto, this is what I wanted to tackle. I wanted to create a hurricane scale to better reflect the strength and possibly the accurate intensity of a hurricane when it was coming close to shore. 